Uh, you guys are great. But anyway, Jeff, I'll let you start with the name calling there. There's Jody Arias, three days on the stand. He's calling me names. Is that more sympathy for her? Yeah, it is, and she's doing a great job uh, now. In the beginning, she was a bit robotic, but she's doing a great job now of getting sympathy. Uh, so far, it's, it's uh, you know, all towards the death penalty. It's nothing that's going to add up to self-defense. But if she keeps doing this good job, she's going to say things that are going to start to make sense about her defense, and we'll see where it goes. But as of right now, she's doing a pretty good job of getting sympathy, I think, and, and, and I think being attractive to men. Oh, could have objected to some of this, but instead he's letting it go. Why? Well, first of all, I think that he knows that she's given all those statements and that the more she talks, the more rope there is to hang her with. Let me say this, though. I think listening to this testimony, what we've heard is her motive for killing, is that he called her a skank, a whore. He bent her over. He did all kinds of sexual things to her. And in the end, he, he, he treated her as if she was nothing. You know, she was a skank or a hoe. So you know what? In the end, that's what the prosecutor is going to want. He's going to use this to say her motive was revenge. Not revenge because she had been abused, revenge because she had been wronged as a girlfriend, and that's not a defense to the case. There you go. And Jeff and Joey, they're coming back in about an hour. We're going to be talking about a